create front and rear sheet. For that, go to here, grid 1. Then you can select any roofing sheet. Then copy this one. Then go to the steel, select here beam. So now you will get it all the things copied here. I just change here front and rear sheet. Rear stripe sheet. Just keep as it is. Then simply enter. Now you can create sheet. You can see here this is the grid for our front and rear side. Click here. So this one is placed like this. Press escape key. You can select this one by rotating 90 degree. Here it is placed like this. You can go to the 3D view. Click outside. Press control tab. You can go to the 3D view. Here you can see perfectly. Select this one. You can change this one 180 degree also. Then enter. So this is our sheet. We need to fix it. The sheet like this. You can see here. This is the perfect orientation. Now we need to place it this sheet inside. So select this one. Then just go here. Select this one right. Right means it is going inside. So just make it left. Then you can make it here up. Okay, now this one is perfectly placed. Then we need to go to this grid A. Go to the view. Select here view list. Select here grid A. Or you can use control tab also. You can go to the next next view. Now you can select this one. You can change here. It is 315. Now I just click this grip. You can right click. Move. Click this point. You can place it up to 0. If you need any gap you can fix it that also. I just make it here 0. Make it here 0. Then modify. You will fix it perfectly here. Here we have some extension. So I just make it here. This is our 9165. Same level I just fix it. Then enter. Just keep as it is. We will make few more changes also. If you need more you can make more also. I just make it 9 to 50. Then enter. Keep as it is. Then we need to make this one up to here. So select this one. Right click. Move command. Click this point. This end point. Shift right click. Go to the perpendicular. I just click here. So now this one exactly fitted with this corner. If you go to the 3D, you can see here it will fitted with this git. You can see end of this git it will fix. Here also we will fix the sheet also coming like this. Now I just go to this grid view. I will click outside. I just make it here plan. Here it is. Just go to work plane parallel to view plane. Now I just click here. You will get it XY here. Select the sheet. Right click. Copy special linear. Then make it here 1058. You can calculate total distance and total distance divided by 1058. You will get it the quantity. You can make like that also or you can make simply you can arrange. I just make it first 10 sheet copy you can see here 10 sheet is arranged like this press escape key we need to make it this sheet up to here I just go to edit then go to here vertical now I just click this bottom click this portion click here now I just click this bottom you can see the dimension 6 4, 3, 5. So select any sheet. This sheet just keep as it is. Select this sheet. Make it bottom 6, 4, 3, 5. Then enter. Now you can see this sheet is fixed perfectly. Similar way you can just copy this one. Or you can modify. Select all the things. Just make it bottom modify. Modify. So here it is fixed with this sheet. Then select this one. 
make it copy more. So I just make it here 25, then copy. You can see it will fixed up to here. We need it little more also. I just make it here 5 more. That's enough. Select this one, delete it, and this one is required. Just keep as it is. Then we need to increase this one length. Select this one, press Ctrl, and we can select this all the sheet. And press Ctrl, you have to select this one. Similar way, we need to select here also. We need to select here also. So these are all the sheets selected. This also we need to select. Then just make it here 0, then enter. It is fixed up to here. So this is our entrance. This to our entrance. Then you can see here entrance we have sheet like this. That one we need to cut and remove. For that go to edit tab. Then select here polygon cut. Select this one. Click this location. Then we need to cut and remove up to this post. Up to here. Then press the mouse center button. You can see this area cut and remove. Similar way, select this one, click this end point. Exactly, we need to click this point. It is placed. Then go to here, click this point. Then if you go down, you can click here, click here. Then press the mouse center button. Here it is created the opening perfectly. Similar way we need to create here also. Select this one. Click here. Click here also. Now I just go down. You can click here. Click here. Press the mouse center button. Similar way we need to do it here also. All the area. So we will get it open perfectly. Press the mouse center button. Now you can see this one little bit we need to move it right click this location. Right click move click this point just place it so it is cut and remove perfectly. Now right click redraw you can see the opening perfectly you will get it. Now if you go to the 3D view you can see the sheet what we created. If you go inside also, you can see, press Ctrl and press the mouse center button, you can orbit like this. You can see here what we place in the sheet. But we need to do one more thing. See here, this sheet is not fixed up to here. So we need to cover this area also. For that, go to this grid one. We need to do one by one. Before that, we need to do one more thing. This one we need to cut and remove. Just go to here, line cut, select this one. We need to cut up to this for link. I click here, click here, then I click here. Then press escape key. Then you can see here, this side we need to extend up to here. For that, just go to fit part end, select the sheet, then you can Click this location, we need to create up to here, select this location and select this location. If I click here, within few seconds, you can see here the sheet will extend up to here. Similar way, we need to do all the sheets. Just click this location and click this location. Here it is, it will create. Repeat the same and we need to finish all the sheets. Same like that, select the sheet, click this location and click this location, it will extend within few seconds using this fit part end. Repeat the same and complete this work. So we finished all the cutting work, then we have only one changes. You can see here this sheet, you will get it like this. We made cut like this, but we have this side 
it is coming like this that one we need to cut and remove for that go to here line cut select this one now you can click any location here then I click here then I click this one it will cut and remove within few seconds now we can see this one this sheet you will get it this direction and this direction you will get it same the way we need to make changes here also you will get the sheet like this select this sheet then click here any one nearest point then click this one it will remove like this then we need to do few more cutting work also you can see here this side we need to make rain cutter and this side we need to make rain cutter that time we need to cut and remove so that one we will see in that time if you go to the 3d view you can see here what we created the sheet you have to check one thing when you create the sheet what is the sheet length maximum length that length the sheet is available or not in your market that you have to check and here it is the profile this profile it is available or not which profile it is available that depends on the profile you have to change the profile also now we created this side press control and you have to select all the sheets press control and we have to select like this or we can use filter also press control and hold the control button you have to select within few seconds so now here it is selected next we need to make a working plane this side so now i just go to this grid one go to the view select here view list grid one now you can see here now i just go to the work plane make it here work plane tool now i just place it here now you will x and y you will get it like this work plane then right click copy special mirror select this degree click this degree and i click here then i go to the copy within few seconds everything will copy to that side now everything copied then i go to expand now you can see here this side also the sheet is copied now if you go to the 3d view you can see here front and rear side sheet is copied perfectly then you can see here roofing sheet is little bit extent but that one you can cut and remove or you can just keep as it is when we make the flashing and all that time we will cut and remove this is the way you can create front and rear sheeting.